a phase diagram tells you what phase is most stable at a given temperature and pressure. So a phase diagram is plotted with pressure on the y-axis, temperature on the x-axis. What you should be able to do is identify the three phases, solid, liquid, and gas, based on high pressure, low pressure, high temperature, or low temperature. So for example, if the pressure is very, very low and the temperature is very, very high, we're over in this region, and this would be, the most stable phase would be a gas. Conversely, if you lower the temperature and raise the pressure, you'll end up in this region, which will be most stable as a solid. And in between, you have a liquid. There are two points that you also have to know. The liquid gas boundary ends at a point that's called the critical point. When you're at a pressure or a temperature beyond that critical point, you can no longer tell the difference between a liquid and a gas. Liquids and gas are fluids, and normally, say you had a test tube that had some liquid in there and it had some gas, you could tell by the density which phase was which. The liquid phase is more dense, and it would be at the bottom of the test tube. The gas phase is less dense, so it would be at the top of the test tube. When you're past the critical point, you reach what's called the supercritical fluid. And supercritical fluids, the density of the liquid phase, the density of the gas phase is identical, and it's not possible to have a distinction between those two phases. This point, if you were at this point, you would be touching solid, liquid, and gas, so that means all three phases are equal, equally likely. They're all stable. This is called the triple point. If you're on a line in a phase diagram, such as this point, that means you have solid and liquid, in this case, both stable. Solid and liquid, this would be stable at the melting point. And the melting point is the same temperature as the freezing point. It just depends on which way you're moving from solid to liquid or liquid to solid. When the pressure is a certain value, which we use one atmosphere as the standard, then the temperature of melting is called the normal melting point, and the temperature of boiling is the normal boiling point. For example, water has a normal boiling point of 100 degrees Celsius and a normal freezing point of 0 degrees Celsius. But if you change the pressure, you'll change that melting point. So for example, we can move from here to here, and we're still on the solid-liquid boundary, so we're still at the melting point, but the temperature has changed because we changed the external pressure. The phase diagram of water is a little bit different Water is unusual that the solid-liquid boundary has a negative slope. In other words, if we were here at this pressure and temperature, the most stable phase of water would be solid. If we keep the temperature constant and increase the pressure, notice we move into the liquid region, that this is unusual. Most substances if you increase the pressure on a solid, it stays a solid. So most substances, if you're in the solid region and you increase the pressure, you stay within the solid region. Water is unusual because increasing the pressure at constant temperature makes water solid turn into liquid water.